Welcome, Game Informer viewers, to another episode of Test Chamber. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Today, I'm joined by Joe Juba. Hey! And Dan Reichert. Hi there, Reiner. Hey, Dan. How are you doing? Good. Look what we're watching. I don't know about this. It's just a little bed yoga. <laughs> what, you don't, you don't like watching sexy ladies? Not in video game form, no. Oh, okay. You're above that, huh? I am! <laughs> I do consider myself above that. <laughs> that bunny has been abused. Look at all the scars on that thing. Yeah. Well, it's not even sewed up normally either. It's got, it's got like, it's sutured. So we're looking at Lollipop Chainsaw from Grasshopper Manufacturer, Suda51, his studio. Yep. Written by James Gunn. Who did, uh, like, Slither was... That movie's awesome. Thing. Yeah, it is. I love that movie. Yep, yep. That was one of the... That was one of those, like, really creepy... But sort of campy horror movies. Funny, that, genuinely yeah, funny, yeah, smartly like, written. Like, yeah. I, I, I was expecting it to be genuinely bad, and it was actually yep. not even so bad as good. It was just pretty good. Yep, I liked it. Who are all these smart asses in these photos? Okay. Looking off the camera, giving rabbit ears. So here's what we're looking at. is The main character is Juliet, the one in the sweater. She's Buffy, basically. Uh, yeah, she's sort of our, our Buffy analog. And uh, she, she's got, her sister is the one, her sister Cordelia... Is the one with the short hair, and she's like an assassin hey! for hire. Come on now. Uh, that's her dad. He's. Uh, Can you do that with Kinect? <laughs> I I don't I don't think it's supported. Oh, okay. It looks like a tutorial. Uh, her younger sister is the one who like crashed the car and stuff. She's actually probably one of my favorite characters in the game. We won't. We probably won't see her in this video, but she's like, like everything is everything is totally hilarious to her, even when it's horrifying. So like, her she's driving a bus that's totally out of control, and she's like laughing and screaming. At the same time. So she's great. psychotic. Yeah, she is totally psychotic. Uh, yeah, so Juliet, Tekken. Our, our main yeah. character, is a uh, she's a normal high school girl who's into cheerleading, has a nice boyfriend named Nick, Okay. Uh, but she's also a zombie hunter. And there's just zombies that attend the school, or are they? Well, there's. What's they, going on there? They don't really. They don't really get into it. At the beginning of the game, there is a there is a zombie mm -hmm. outbreak because like. Some evil world is seeping into the normal dimension or something like that. That's about as far as the game goes into, like, why there are zombies oh. everywhere. Um, okay, so she has lollipops. She eats so lollipops. She, we were talking over it. She eats lollipops to keep her energy up. But is there a lollipop chainsaw? Like, do you turn it on and lick the blades? <laughs> there are... <laughs> They're mutually exclusive items, I think. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, I honestly, I think, the, I think the name just sort of comes from the sort of meeting of two of the main themes, kind of, of the game, okay. which is just sort of like you know the sort of candy poppy high school sort of mentality, and then the cutting up of zombies and, and stuff. Apparently, this, this punch is out punch training. Out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? All right. Uh, so I'm not con like the Die Hard of the Vengeance section of Die Hard trilogy on PlayStation <laughs> One. Uh, I'm not actually controlling this. Uh, I'd play that game. That game's awesome. Bike riding zombie. Oh, that's attack. yeah, yeah. Isn't so, that kind of Dead Rising? Uh, yeah. I guess you can go down to the parking garage and just run over like eight thousand zombies. Not first yeah. person. No, no, that'd be <laughs> fun. <laughs> not how you use the chainsaw. No, I, I don't even see why you do that. that. That would just like slow you down and dull the blade. Haven't you played Twisted Metal Joe? It sets it on fire. Uh huh. What is this? Oh. Gem in the holograms? What? What's going on? So yeah, there's there's basically just like blood and or, uh, uh, rainbows and hearts instead of instead of blood. All right. I mean, there's blood all over them, obviously, but so this is rated E for everyone. Uh, no. I'm getting an Oni <laughs> Chambara banana zombie vibe from this. Remember that game? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um, this game's actually way better than that. Oh. Okay. Um, that game was terrible. Yeah. That that game that game like didn't quite have the I mean, it wasn't terrible. Well, it was no, pretty it was. terrible. It was terrible. But if there's if there's one <laughs> thing if there's one thing that that you know Grasshopper and Suda can pull off, it's that sort of like that sort of stylish charm, and that's something that this game has that like Oni Chanbara definitely didn't. Okay. What is it loading? Um, what just happened there? Yeah, I know. It, it, it happens a lot. So the lollipops are your health, I take it. Uh, yeah, the lollipops are your health, and you can eat more lollipops to uh, uh, regain health. Did that entire bus full of people just blow up. Yeah, don't worry about it. This is the most I've People seen of this People just died. Game. Yeah. <laughs> Those are humans. Yes. That's a tragedy. Stop being a wuss. paper tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so when you kill Sparkle multiple zombies, 
when you kill like three or more zombies in one blow, you get sparkle hunting. Which, they don't really explain why it's called sparkle hunting or what it means, but it's pretty awesome. Alright. I like the coins. Yeah. So in terms of actual combat, are we looking at anywhere near <laughs> like <laughs> Devil May Cry, God of War type? Uh, no, or, but, or is this no, a little but stiffer. We're also we're also looking at better than better than like Oni Chambara to bring that up. Okay, though. it's like like it's it's basically you you have three major attack buttons and you you sort of string together combos based on that. So okay. I don't actually um, it's like this this is an A X combo, you know, where I okay. like swing low and then do a little spin. Do you upgrade stuff and then get new combos? Like, yep, yep. So all these medals that I'm collecting when these zombies are blowing up on me. Why would you use the pom-poms when you have a chainsaw? Uh, I was never super clear on that. Like, it, it, it can stun zombies a little faster, but I don't know I'd why. I'd be confused by that, too. Yeah. I mean, I would if I had a chainsaw, I would use the chainsaw. Okay, so that guy needs help. SOS. Oh, no. Jeez. I think you're a little late. No, no, he's fine. Don't worry about it. Kill zombie. No, no, no. If you get bit by a zombie, you turn into a zombie. Yeah, well, I, I guess he's, he'll be fine. Don't. What's this kind of little evade, uh, hop, my leapfrog thing you're doing to that? Yeah, so so combat is basically, like I said, a combination of, like, you're basically dialing in com just, like, button sequences. It's not, like, Devil May Cry where you need to, like, hold R1 to do a launcher or anything like that. Right, it's right. basically just, you know. I'm liking this move. That's pretty good. Yep, the, uh, that, that, jam that, on Y to chainsaw the guy's nerds thing is pretty yep. good. This seems like a game designed for you, Dan. Like all <laughs> these colors and themes are kind of what I see in your bedroom on your walls. <laughs> yeah, I, I still don't know. I, I'm gonna play this. and I'm looking forward to playing this. But uh, I don't know. Like I loved like Bayonetta because Bayonetta was really crazy and wacky and everything. But it also had some really sharp gameplay. I thought. Right, and that's. Um, I mean, and that's an area. That's an area where I think Lollipop Chainsaw falters a little bit. Is like it, it's got the style down pretty well, but. but yeah. Like, but, weirdness for weirdness sake, it doesn't necessarily mean it. Like, we were talking earlier, Joe, about Deadly Premonition. I right. think that I hate that game. Because it's, <laughs> it's quirky and weird. Yeah, I get it. But it plays like absolute horse crap. And uh, so, yeah, I don't like that game. Whereas, if this plays well, I would love it. But that's kind of yeah. a deciding factor. I mean, I think, for instance, this plays better than No More Heroes. Okay. Um, you know, it's, it's, it sort of wipes out some of the problems I had with that game. But it's still, it's still a little bit... Still a little bit rough around the edges. What some people, what some people might call a kind of old school homage style, feel, just to me feels a little more archaic. Okay. But, um, this new stabbing people. Yeah. Chains out his butt. Yeah. Okay, I, so the government called in an airlift, like, to save that dude. But there's no army or anything. They're just like whatever. Maybe they haven't gotten the army in yet. I, I guess like, helicopters can get there first. Look, they're man, going down the first highway. First line of defense Reiner, is the cheerleaders, and then yeah, they start bringing in the You military. are really, you are really over. Like you are, you are now thinking about the plot more than the people at Grasshopper Manufacturing. <laughs> hey, Dan thought called about it a plot. tragedy. I agree with him. This is this is crazy. <laughs> How to cook? What? Wait, did it just say skills with a Z? Yep. Ah, oh, damn it. How to cook zombie guys? Uh. I kind of actually, I kind of like that. But yeah, all of, all of the instructions are just how to cook. Has the whole get on top of a, a bus strategy ever worked in any zombie fiction ever? Yes. Because they tend to just kind of swarm you, right? And then you're just Yeah, dead. they can't get up there. But then you're going to starve to death. They'll just kind of bang on the side. Mess up the paint a little. You'll be fine up there. So if you can stun zombies and get the little stars going, um, and there are, there are a few moves like that jump kick that will reliably do that. Then you can pretty much just one-hit kill them, which is kind of handy. I tend to prefer to jump over them and chainsaw their nards <laughs> to use Dan's corrupt Joe. <laughs> so, okay, this currency stuff here. Uh, what, tell us about it. Is there an in-game store here? Yep, yep, we'll, we'll run into it. We're just playing the prologue level right now. Okay. So, like, one thing, one thing we're missing is um, Juliet normally has her uh, boyfriend's head attached to her hip. Well, why not? Uh, well, I mean, you'll we'll we'll see the origin of the spoiler. head on your hip, but yeah. The spoiler that was in every piece of uh, <laughs> promotion for this hey, game. I have not looked at any of this game. This is the most I've seen. <laughs> I've been like an ostrich with my head in the mud. Whenever I hear about this game, I'm just like, whoop! Don't want to hear about it. They kicked the cosplayer uh, that's been playing Juliet at all the events. Uh, Jessica Negri is her name. Yeah. Uh, they kicked her out of Pax East for being a bit too revealing. All right, now uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the song Mickey is playing right now. The actual one? Yeah. 
That's great. Yep. That okay. That fits. Yeah, they, it's the game. Perfect. Yeah. The the soundtrack is actually pretty awesome because it has it has songs like that. It's got Pac Man Fever in there. It's got uh, <laughs> Lollipop. But then it also has some. I don't, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know who Little Jimmy Urine is. He is the lead singer of a terrible band called Mindless Self Indulgence. Okay. And he's a real piece of work. Uh, he's just kind of a crappy person. So. Well, but he, he's a known guy. He's a known crappy person that uh, does the boss music for this. Is that correct? Uh, something like that. He worked on the music. I actually, I kind of like the classic and the oldies that are in this game better. But yeah, I mean, there's, it's, it's, well, I mean, there's some like, there's some punk, there's some rock. There's a, like a wide variety of genres represented here. So. Now, what's that meter cool. in the lower left-hand corner? That's the one that I just used to activate Mickey mode. I don't know if it's actually called <laughs> Mickey. Mickey mode. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually called Mickey mode. That's that's just what I called it. <laughs> but and kids are throwing coins at you. Sometimes it's gold. Like, is that depending on like how well you did in that combat encounter? Uh, no. It, whenever I think whenever you rescue whenever you rescue a classmate, I think that you get a set a, a set medal reward for it. But the the number of medals that you get for this kind of thing. You get like bonus medals for sparkle hunting. I feel ridiculous talking about this right now. Video games are kind of weird sometimes. <laughs> so, Joe, you did the review for us. How did it score? Uh, I give this a seven point five. Um, but it's one of those, it's one of those weird sort of fond seven point five, <laughs> where, like, there. I think the gameplay has a lot of problems. There are some things about the game that really that really bug me. But at the end of the day, like, I'm really glad I played this. game. I had a I had a pretty good time with it, and uh, a lot of people have been comparing it to Bayonetta, games like that. It sounds like it's not quite that deep in terms of combat, but looks just as weird. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not as deep as Bayonetta, and you know, I, I mean, you brought up Buffy earlier, and it's not. There's, I think, an important distinction between this and Buffy is, and <laughs> this is going to make me sound like some sort of prude or some sort of activist or something, <laughs> but like. One of the one of the important differences I think is that like mm -hmm. Buffy generally keeps it clean, mm -hmm. you know, and like and like relies on relies on clever writing and sort of character interactions to drive to drive it. Right. Whereas this game I think goes a lot more for shock value when it can and and tries to so like you know uh, there's going to be a bleep coming up here in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, like some zombies come out of the ground and just say, "Let me." F your father <laughs> you know and it's like, like Darth Vader right yeah, yeah it's like uh oh, okay I guess the zombie and then like like people throw out all kinds of names that I'm, that I'm not even going to repeat here for Juliet like some pretty foul names for her well the game did start with her in bed then well, a shower scene but see there, like in my mind there's a difference between like the sort of super sexualized female character that you have in like let's say like Bayonetta where it's like, okay, she's striking a sexy pose. Right. Versus, like, everyone in the world calling Juliet a whore and a bitch. Wow. And, you know, even worse. Uh, like, like it's, it's this just sort of, like, constant verbal abuse that, to me, to me is weird because it feels like, it feels like the way, like, oh, yeah, by the way, the helicopter is going to crash. Um, <laughs> to me, it feels like, like a little kid who just learned about <laughs> swear words and just <laughs> wants to use swear words as much as possible. <laughs> Um, it feels a little bit like that, like like just kind of pointless sometimes. Get the phone. Get the bat phone. Oh, yeah. This is also something I found really weird. Um, I don't think... I mean, I, I could be wrong about this, but I've tried every button possible. I don't think there's a way to manually answer phone prompts when they show up. Like, this happens as part of the story. Sometimes a little phone will ring, but then, like, the only way I could find to answer them is to, after the mission, go in the menu and listen to the phone call. Hmm. I think they misspelled receives. Uh, that's possible. Mm. All right, what's, uh, what's going on there? <laughs> what, are we, what are we looking at? Okay, so this is this is a computer. <laughs> no, it's not. That's just set up. <laughs> oh, there. that thing down there. I was looking at the crazy flappy bird thing. Yeah, yeah. So this is where this is where you buy your stuff. Someone punched that chick in the face. They need to start using S's instead of Z's. I don't like that. Ah, whatever, man. <laughs> Dude. This is coming from the guy who just got two whoopee cushions in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> There's a difference. I take spelling seriously. Uh, and, and whoopee cushion technology. <laughs> I think whoopee cushions might actually misspell whoopee. What should I get? 
Is Whoopi really a proper... Is uh, that uh, Merriam-Webster there? Uh, I'm, I'm just Point saying. proven. But Dan, why don't you just talk a little bit about the new Whoopi cushion you just got? Oh, well, I, I got a giant one in New Orleans called the Mega Fart Whoopi cushion. And Tim really broke it the first about... day. This won't take long, Joe. This will take, you're just prolonging this. I got a Mega Fart Whoopi cushion. Tim broke it. Then I tweeted about it, and people sent me new Whoopi cushions. People on Twitter um, sent me a self-inflating Whoopi cushion, which works perfectly, and a remote control Whoopi cushion, which I have not done yet. What? I'm, wait I'm waiting for Tim to leave his desk. So you just got three Whoopi cushions over the course of the last two days. Yes, and I'm very, very pleased about that. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm about to remote control Whoopi cushion Tim's desk as soon as yeah, he so leaves, but he doesn't leave his desk. So. To the GI readers that sent these in, thanks for uh, learning our work days. Elgard Duck, I believe, sent them. So, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, Matt Miller, I think, has taken offense to them and has given Dan warning, like, there have been threats. you have one left. Okay, yeah. well, I mean, to be fair, Dan was blasting that thing constantly. <laughs> no, I did it once or twice yesterday, and then Ben Reeves came after Miller said, hey, he's up on it, and Ben Reeves went, brap, 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 just over and over again. <laughs> So, that was Ben. Lollipop Chainsaw. Lollipop Chainsaw. <laughs> okay, so you're doing a little platforming here. Uh, yeah. How deep is the exploration? Is it very linear? It's super linear. Okay. There are there are some times when you can, like, you know, like 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 you saw when I, like, looked behind the bus and found an extra lollipop right. back there or something. But that's about that's about as deep as it gets. And lollipops are your health? Uh, yeah, lollipops are, like, health potions, basically. Gotcha. Um. And do you play as anyone other than her? Nope. You stick with Juliet the whole time. <laughs> it's interesting um, they put her name up there then. You can buy um, you can buy different costumes and stuff for her. Uh, one of the interesting things about it too is that like once you beat the game, it's a fairly short game. I would say probably like six hours six hours tops. New game plus. Um not I mean, not straight up new game plus, but ah. but you can you can go and replay missions as many times as you want. So uh, part of what's interesting about that is there's no way on your first playthrough that you're going to, like, get all of the items or upgrades. It's, it's not one of those games where, like, at the end of the game, you are fully powered up. You Can know? you farm? Like, I remember um, in Devil May Cry 3, I just kept playing that first level over and over until I had enough red orbs to get everything powered up. Can you do that? Uh, not exactly. There are certain moves that are that are gated. Hmm. Versus, okay. Like, like there, there are certain moves and unlockables that are contingent on, like, you know, beating your dad's high score on a level. Or, um, or, or, or things like that. So you won't necessarily, and then, well, then there are also like upper level moves that I think are gated by, prog by progression in the story. So it's like, you couldn't replay the prologue again and again and just get the, the best combo. Okay. Aren't you, uh, using your sparkle sunshine power? Uh, I'm going to save that. What is it called again? I called <laughs> it Mickey mode. Okay. Uh, I like that. I'm, I'm saving Mickey mode for a fight that's coming up here. Does it play it every time you use that? Yep. Okay. Wow. And Lollipop was playing as when we were when we were shopping. I don't know if you guys heard that. Lollipop? Like Lollipop, Lollipop. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, no. You might want to fall back, guys. Ah, oh, they'll be fine. There we go. Okay, see look. Okay, so the phone the little phone thing's in the corner there. I don't so know. You if can't press anything? I, I have mashed the buttons. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I mean, on the plus side, I heard them all anyway. Like I looked at them, I looked at them after the level. But gives you a lot of fiction. Uh, it's basically just like Julie's, Juliet's family calling to be, you know, like she doesn't even have conversations. Are they with concerned? Them. Are they like, what are you doing out there uh, with the chainsaw? Well, not really. A lot of it is preparations for her birthday party. It's Juliet's birthday. She turned eighteen, so you know it's legal. Um, they need to what? tell her to put some pants on. <laughs> Wait, she's still in high school and she's 18? Oh, she's a senior. You're a senior. I mean, you turned 18 when you were really? senior. Really? Yeah. I graduated when I was 17. I was 17, but there were some 18-year-olds, yeah. So named zombies are a little bit harder to beat. Was that of someone of importance or no? No, no, no. They're, they're just, you know, sometimes zombies have names and they're a little bit harder. But then you kill them. Yeah, what kind of variety is there in the enemies? It seems like they're already spitting out yeah, I mean, three different enemy types here. Yeah, there are these guys. There, you'll run, we'll run into some cops. Uh, like actual cops or cop zombies? Cop zombies. Okay. This is what I was saving Mickey mode for. This will go a lot faster. Ooh. Nice. Go. Take that, Jerry. <laughs> it plays every time. Yep. It's amazing. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> 
Dan, really can you see yourself playing this, sitting at home playing this game? Yeah, I, I'll probably play this within the next week, I bet. Seriously? <laughs> is, that, is that really surprising? I play oh, all yeah, sorts of games yeah. like this. Why? Why is that surprising? I play, it's the exact opposite of who you are. <laughs> what do you mean? I played that. I love the hell out of Bayonetta and like the, any kind of crazy action game. What do you think about the Vampire Slayer? I've never seen a second. Uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar's hot. That's that's all I know. I mean, and they made a movie with like Christy Swanson a few years before that. There is not it, a single instance of beef jerky in this show or in this <laughs> in this game at all, Dan. Like no one eats beef jerky or even talks about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's your boyfriend, right? Yeah. So boyfriend Nick just got bit. Revenge. Uh, he doesn't know that Juliet is like a badass zombie hunter. You okay, Juliet? Is Buffy a comedy? Are yes. You? What is it? Or is it some weird? It's a drama. It's a uh, dramedy. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's a mixture. It takes itself seriously. Yeah. No. It <laughs> does. No. It does. The <laughs> Complete relationships. Opposite answer no. The relationships of that show they take it seriously. Oh yeah. Some of the stuff like the relationships, but and like, their big arcs they take seriously. But there's a lot of comedy in it. Okay. Like like Fuck. they brilliant writing. The characters understand that it's like sorry, ridiculous yeah. when. You know, some sort of dark priest turns into a giant, turns into a giant serpent and stuff. Like they, they okay. call attention to how like silly that is sometimes. And which one? I know there's but. some like nerdy. The, one of those guys that nerds just you know love so much. Uh, Joss Whedon. Yeah. What else has he done? <laughs> Who, who's the guy that did Star Trek that people like a lot? The J. 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 Abrams. Yes. Okay. I like J. J. Abrams because Star Trek was awesome. And Joss Whedon just did the J. J. Avengers. J. J. Abrams has oh, had, okay. Joss Whedon. Okay. The Avengers yeah. is good. J. J. Abrams has nothing to do with anything we're talking about. I'm right just. Now. Talking about those guys that nerds <laughs> over. <laughs> oh, God. And those are two guys that are always mentioned in the same sentence that whenever I hear people talking about nerds. You're not going to play this game. I, I will yeah. enjoy playing this game. This is as game. much as you're going to see of this game. It's the only chance we have I, I am genuinely surprised as to why you think I wouldn't like this Fuck. game. I, am com I love I'm games like this. Too, okay, so Nick got bit by a zombie. Okay. And she's... Whoa. So All she... Right. She chops his head off. Okay. And then at the beginning of the next level, we see that she casts some sort of magical spell. So he's basically a, a living, oh, know, a living head. So that's what Dan's report card looks wow. like. Yeah. Who is it? Somebody here freaks out about these. Uh, Tim. Tim really doesn't like it when a game grades him because he gets uh, really weird about that. Well, one of the one of the things about this is that like early on, I mean, we're we're early in the game, so it's really hard to get a good like. Like you have crap for combos in the prologue right, level right. when you, you can't start, get fancy you know? with stuff. Yeah. So like, like after I after I beat the game, I went back and replayed the prologue and like super aced it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So Again, it's, it's like Devil May Cry. You can go back to that first level once you have all the crazy things you're doing trickster and gunslinger and all that stuff. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I mean, do we want to stop there? That's the no. Prologue we should level. show the head. Okay, we'll we'll keep going. We'll end it uh, with this big twist here. Well, I guess I just spoiled it for everyone. Sorry. Lollipop maracas. Yeah, I thought they were maracas the first time I saw them too. Yeah, you can't shake the game's a lollipop called Lollipop like Chainsaw. They're obviously lollipops. I don't but know. Look at them that. shake. Look at the. I mean, you they never shake a lollipop. They have like these little stunted sticks too. Like what yeah. lolly? What lollipop has like a one inch stick poke? Like yeah, the, the fancy that. lollipops that you can get at like Cracker Barrel and it looks no, like that. No, those have longer sticks. Of you course, can choke on that. One. You're right Cracker Barrel. They look just like. Of that. course, your reference for <laughs> gourmet lollipops is Cracker Barrel. Of course, it is. <laughs> It's a good place. I feel good. <laughs> Julia. Okay, so he's still alive because he was zombified? No. She used sparkle juice no, no, no. on Before it the venom got to his brain, she chopped his head off. So yeah, he doesn't turn into a zombie. Oh God, oh she she just enchanted his head so he can keep okay. living. There is a, a reason then. She yeah, 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 yeah. It's a magical spell or something. Gotcha. Cracker Barrel has a little peg game that calls you an ignoramus if you leave too many pegs in the wooden thing. Yep. That's fun. That's, that's correct. <laughs> so what purpose does this severed head serve other than reminding me of Futurama? Uh, well, she loves him so much that she gets to keep she gets to keep him around now. But you said, yeah. So Does he talk? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so there's basically like some banter going on. He's sort of like the straight man, right? Of like, he doesn't know anything about this crazy zombie world that's going on. So he sort of plays the straight man and... Uh, there are also powers that involve him, like if you die, there's this power that activates that gives you a chance for him to like resurrect you. You can also 
You can also like shoot his head at zombies to stun them. <laughs> like out of a cannon or? Yeah, it's out of a cannon, except like your uses of these are limited. You actually have to buy Nick tickets to use them. Um, which is kind of funny because you have to buy them. Like for a lot of things, like for lollipops, the the, you just find lollipops. There are very few Nick tickets just like scattered around the world. So the game doesn't really like, even though it gives you these things as power ups, it doesn't really emphasize their use, which is kind of weird. But okay, so the rest of the game, he's just going to be hanging out there. Yep, the rest of the game, he's there on the head. There are some pretty funny moments where he, where he like, meets her dad. And, uh, you know, like... So there's still a couple, then. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they're totally still together. So does the game set itself up for a sequel? Or there's... There is there is room there is room for a sequel. Um, I would be surprised if that happened. Yeah. But Wait, so she's still together with the head that's attached to her. Oh that's what yeah, we were just talking that, about that. Raises some questions. I don't. I mean, they do reference later in the game that he has a limber tongue. Uh, really? Oh, okay. God. Well, I got that going. And on. Dan, it's true love. Yeah, I'm just saying some some things might be tricky there. I mean, uh, this game. I'm just thinking the, the logistics here. Sorry. All right, you're worried about logistics in a game called Lollipop Chainsaw. I'm just saying it'd be uh, it'd be tough to be that guy. Uh huh. It was fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop talking. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, and and you know, as, as you guys are noticing too, like most of most of the levels, most of the action is just like. You enter a room and you have to kill a certain number of zombies. And they even call out how many zombies you're going to fight in that room. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, and th there, there are some things that happen that vary it up. Like, there's a level there's a level that has a lot of, like, video game, sort of, like, video game-related diversions in it. Cool. At one awesome point, you're driving a combine through a field full of zombies. <laughs> I really like All that. Right. In first person? Uh, no. Okay. Third person. But, uh, I don't know what his problem is. Is it the teacher? Yeah, is there another? Oh, there we go. Um. So you know, like, like there, there are some, there are some diversions and like those little, there are some like little quick time events and stuff. But overall, it does get a little bit repetitive, and it's especially like it's kind of funny because it's worse, like it's at its worst early in the game hmm. when you don't have enough combos to really right. like do the awesome stuff. Well, I think that's a pretty good look at this game. Uh, I'm excited to play this. Me too. Dan is actually not, but I'm he's going to say he is. I believe I went into your office about 20 minutes ago asking if we had a copy I could borrow. And uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Joe, thank you again. Yeah, no problem. And uh, we'll see everyone next time.